Hey everyone, Shabby here and welcome back to another video showcasing another potential manager of Manchester United. Now this one is going to be a very quick one. It is all about Arsene Wenger. He lasted one season as Manchester United manager. It was not a terrible season though to be honest with you. Uh, so let's have a quick look and see what he did. Uh, right, here we go. So he came second in the league one point beneath Manchester City. Eight losses, what really cost them. Um, Man City lost less but got more draws. Man United actually won more games, 28 wins out of 38 games, which is quite impressive. Uh, Transfer-wise, we saw Christian Pulisic for £56 million. Of course, not realistic because he's going to join Chelsea this summer. And Andrea Zikovic, the Serbian as well. Now, the good thing about um, Wenger is he is very, very good at judging players' potential. So, obviously, that's why he's gone in for those two younger players. Uh, players out, we saw Ashley Young, one of the youngsters, and Matteo Damian go out. And he also oversaw these transfers as well. Uh, Milinkovic, Savic, as well as uh, Grimaldo. Um, both came in before he left the club. Some pretty good deals there, actually. Valencia left on a free transfer. Uh, a couple of the youngsters left on free transfers as well. Uh, if we look in at the schedule then, he actually had a pretty good season. It was it was very much a case of always the bridesmaid, never the bride. So they finished second in the Premiership. They finished second in the FA Cup after losing three to to Spurs. Wow, Spurs had scored three goals in the first 24 minutes. That was shocking, wasn't it, really? And they lost in the European Cup final as well when Arsenal got the 1-0 victory with Reg Duda. Okay. God, that must have been difficult for him, eh? To lose against his former club Arsenal in the Europa League final. Wow, Mason Greenwood played. What? telling me you've had one game in your entire career and it was the you came on for your own oh, you, play, you played one substitute appearance in the league and you came on for a substitute appearance in the Europa League final as well wow I mean I know he likes playing youngsters but that's a bit of a mickey take isn't it and Philip Benham another youngster as well why are these players I mean the squad's strong enough why are you bringing these players in for these games it's, it's very very risky very, very risky. Okay, that was a, a bit of a weird game, that one, for me. But anyway, as you can see, um, if Wenger is an opportunity, then I think it'll be a very, very short-term deal, if anything. Uh, I can't see it myself, to be honest. But he was on the list of potential managers from the bookie, so I thought it'd be worth having a quick laugh here and seeing how things would go. Anyway, that's the end of this short video. Next up, we have got our last manager in the list for now unless anything else pops up, and that is Gary Neville. So we're going to see how Gary Neville gets on, if he had the opportunity. I think I might actually add, is it, um... Oh, was it Paul Ince? I might do Paul Ince, actually. Just for a bit of fun, Paul Ince, because he was saying recently about how, um... how he could have easily done what... what, um, was done by Solskjaer. So I think Paul Ince could be a good shout for a manager to try out as well. Anyway, uh, of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please do hit a like, of course, subscribe if you want to see some more. I've been Shabby Gamer, thank you much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.